It's the second meeting of the National Economic Council chaired by Vice President Kishim Shatima under the Tinubu administration. Amid surging inflation and petrol prices, the inevitable focus of discussions was on the palliative measure to ease the impact of subsidy removal. The Council received the report from the subcommittee set up at its inaugural meeting proposing measures including aligned states and grassroots governments to implement a cash transfer program. The states you know, that are better positioned to do that enumeration so they can ensure the integrity of the social register. And uh, again, it was also proposed by the Council that we should implement a cash award policy for all public servants. What's a cash award policy? That would be a policy that allows each subnational to actually pay the public servants a certain prescribed amount of cash on a monthly basis. Six and it was prescribed that that should be implemented for six months in the first instance. We also talked about uh, ensuring that we paid our public servants outstanding liabilities, whichever way, if it's their pension, if it's their gratuities. With NEC proposing for governments at the sub-national level to implement their register, concerns arose regarding the existing social register and funding for such programs. This is stress testing it and we think that we need to go down back to the drawing board and if you are delivering any such national or federal program from Abuja, it needs to be delivered via the constituent uh, governments that are there at the roots and each will now generate using their own formal and informal mechanisms to generate a register that is comprehensive, that is, um, I mean, meets certain criteria that you can stress test and you can call out the people in the village and everybody will confirm that these are the vulnerable people, that this is ultimately still a federation and the various states and local governments and federal government are at different levels in terms of their fiscal space and fiscal capacity. The integrity test is what is missing with that um, register. Many have dis uh, described what is being touted as national register as either bogus, some describe it as phantom, some describe it as in all manner of uh, terms. So we need to face the problem. Other recommendations included funding MSMEs with low interest loans, implementing the energy transition plan, and addressing food security. Food is a key component of what is on the table in terms of food security, the escalation of uh, prices of food stop, and so on and so forth. And it was gladdening because NEC engaged with uh, uh, NEMA, with the CBN, and indeed with the Minister of Agri. And uh, we have some buffer stock that is already there with NEMA, and the uh, council has directed the states will be allocated immediately substantial portion of food items, grains, and so on and so forth for distribution so that the prices of food stock will come down and it will be given at a subsidized rate or at the rate at which it is acquired from NEMA. There's also a fund burner that we believe that once that happens, because when you look at the percentage of civil servants or public servants in every state, they are just a trickle. But these kind of measures would also um, ensure that these interventions trickle down uh, to MSMEs, which is transiting from being reliant on petrol to now being reliant on other fuels that are cheaper and more stable, particularly CNG, since we have an abundance of gas in Nigeria. The meeting also mentioned the possibility of negotiating a new minimum wage over time, while clarifying that the allocation to be shared between federating units for June would be around 900 billion naira, not the speculated 2 trillion naira, to moderate its impact on the system. Overall, the council emphasized the need for all chairs of government to be responsive to the people's sufferings and address the cost of governance. They also stress the need for balanced investment for sustainability. It is left to be seen how quick and how far these proposals by the National Economic Council will move the needle for suffering Nigerians. From the presidential villa, Adesua Omoruan, Arise News.